We need to talk about Tony Thornton's Rio truck, or do you say R-E-O, yeah. After stepping away from Oldsmobile in 1905, Ransom E. Olds founded a new company to continue building automobiles. Originally named the R.E. Olds Motor Car Company, it was shortened to just his initials, R.E.O., to avoid confusion with Oldsmobile, which was acquired by General Motors in 1908. But Tony, a lot of us, instead of saying R.E.O. or R.E.O. Speedwagon, we've called it the Rio. That's true. You sure have. Most of us common folks call it. <laughs> By 1910, Rio created its truck division, building those heavy-duty commercial chassis, and you saw fire trucks and buses, and yes, the famous yeah. REO speed wagon. You and I were talking about a meatpacking company that had a whole fleet of Rio trucks. They yeah. delivered their bacon and their hams and their hot dogs. Yeah. So it must have been a really dependable brand. Oh, it was. It was a good brand. There's a lot of those old trucks still running, and they're dependable. We look at this one. It has the wooden cab and the bed, built by Henry Barnes of South Sioux City, Nebraska. And this truck had been used at a John Deere dealership in Nebraska. Finished, of course, yes, absolutely, in John Deere green and yellow. And uh, all the way through, this is just a good-looking truck, isn't it? Yes, sir. It's a good running old truck. I drive it around quite a bit and put it in some parades and taking it to a lot of shows. Yellow painted wood spoke wheels, Firestone gum dip tires, and it has that brass Rio emblem right there. It's a great truck. I'm sure you uh, want to see it in good hands and we'll yes, be able sir, to do uh, that at the yeah. Beacon Gone Farm and Orchard. Yes, I, I got a feeling I will. Tony, great to visit with you. Thanks yes, for the background. Yes, sir. A Thank neat you. Uh, Rio, or you say R-E-O truck. Either or, this was a great one.